Hi, Superspruce here, back with another Factorio++ Plus Plus video, episode 8. And you can see now, um, I have green science going. So, well, I have now that the science is going, but I need to put them somewhere into the labs. So this means I need to craft a whole bunch of labs. Uh, I should probably get some green circuits. Um, and there's a whole setup I want to do for the labs that requires... Um, it's pretty complicated, um, so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if I need this many labs, maybe just, maybe just this much is enough, because I, I'm already gonna get 12, actually 12 is too much, I think all I need is like 10, um, so, the plan is to have essentially a triangle of labs. I know, it seems it it sounds a little strange, but you'll see where I am getting at um l later. So first lab will go um maybe not there, maybe right here. So I should probably also get this stretch night rock. Um I now have two hundred stretch night, yay. I have no idea what it actually does. So now I'm just gonna bring the belts over. So um, here's the red science belt. Um, and there is actually one thing I do wanna do with this. And this is um, make a buffer. So I, I will essentially, um, it, it may look weird, but it's, I, I really like it. It's, it's strange. It's pretty unique to what I do. So, yeah, except I probably need to be... I need to get some stuff from the belt here. This isn't a great place to do it. And I don't presume I can... You, um, you can actually do that. Okay, I didn't, I didn't actually... I did not expect that. So, I'm just going to use this science, put it in here. Um, because... In that case, since I can actually do it under the water, never actually knew that. Um, I'm just gonna get as much as I can into here, and um, because what I'll do here, the buffer will uh, be right here. So um, I'm gonna need a bunch of inserters. Just actually, just this is good, um, like this. Now get four chests. I probably should be making, honestly, I should do steel chests for this, um, but iron chests are probably okay at this point. Maybe I'll, I'll just use wooden chests for now, but later on I will definitely want to use steel chests. Um, just not like that. Now I want inserters like this. Essentially what this is doing is it's gonna provide, um, it, it's gonna allow a buffer for the chests I'm currently for for the science that I'm using, which it'll allow me to just store some science in case um, a different type of science is the bottleneck. So yeah, that's and also this allows me to put it on both sides of the belt, which is pretty pretty important. So I'll just be like this and. Now I, I want to do it again with green science, so this time um, the buffer will be here. So it'll, it'll be a slightly different location. So perhaps I can do this. Um, so you can see green science here. Um, and I want to do it here. This allows me to place some wooden chests here one here actually no not there I want to do it like this and then I again just get the inserters going um, and I, I will need to get some more iron unfortunately because I'm gonna need more belts more inserters more everything um, so just get a few more inserters could just you know actually at this point I could just take it from here like this is the beauty. I can now do this and you look how many belts I have in there and look how many inserters I have here. So I don't even, I barely, I almost never need to handcraft it again. 
So that's really nice. So I'm just gonna get this going. And now all I need is just um, put, um, put the belts like this. And um, this will be the final output belts. And actually, no, I, um, the final output belts will look like this. Um, there's seven sciences in total. Maybe there's more with Factorio plus plus. So I'll just do. I'll just be prepared and put nine. Um, if there's more than nine science packs, uh, I'll definitely need to change um, my, my setup. So yeah, uh, I just want to get like something like this um, for that one, whatever that's gonna be. Green science will be like this, and red science will go here. And this will allow me to, um, I mean, once I get electricity all the way up to there by just getting the electric poles, um, this will allow me, actually, I probably should be doing it like this. So now I can, well, right now this is researching something, but that's not the, the big thing here. The big thing here is that I can daisy chain, or it's, it's called daisy chaining. Also, this research is finished, so could get some military stuff, like weapon and shooting speed or, or physical projectile damage, or I even could perhaps try to get military too. I mean, at this point, I'll probably just do um, physical projectile, um, projectile damage. It's bullet damage, gun turret damage, shotgun shell damage, and then probably the modded stuff. Yeah, advanced gun turret. That's that must be some modded thing that I don't have. Like, yeah, look at this. Just legendary gun turret. This is probably just higher tier gun turrets that Factoria Plus Plus adds. But so essentially, what I'm doing is I'm daisy chaining um, science packs from one lab to another. So actually, yeah, I, sh I should get this going. Um, and essentially. Actually, I, I don't want to do it like that. Um, I, I need some science and no, it's, it's not doing it. I should be like this. Uh, and now, um, just get the science. Um, now with all this daisy chaining, I will be, uh, I'll be able to um, do a lot more. Like, I mean, I know this, this may be, getting going a little extreme with the daisy chaining but whatever i that's what i want to do so yeah i think again that's why i wasn't sure how many labs i was going to get because i'm going to get to four layers of a triangle daisy chaining so i think i can get two more labs yeah two labs and so this isn't i, I don't know how many layers is theoretically possible but um, at this point it's just like this this is what I'm gonna do so now I have t um, 11 labs running which is a pretty good number of labs so I'll be able to do this research pretty quickly so now I, I now have some time to just look at the map um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do um, Something that's really getting or concerning me is that there is no oil whatsoever in this map. And while I don't need oil that soon, it's going to come pretty quick. And I don't see any oil. And yeah, this means this is not a very good spawn if I can't find oil this far out. Because... Usually at this point, I would be seeing multiple oil veins. Probably because of all the Factorio++ plus plus stuff that is adding so many other ores that oil doesn't have a chance to do much. And again, why is there 246 gold? That makes no sense. Um, and I, I'm really not sure what to do. If I can't, if I can't find oil, um, I think what I will want to do is I want to clear this spider base. It's pretty scary. And so I, can, so I can try to clear this, which will be in the way of my bus. And this will maybe be the first time I really focus on a modded thing. 
So I think that's what I want to do. I also want to get cliff explosives because that's what sort of that's what 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 you can do to get rid of cliffs. However, you need oil to get cliff explosives. So this is not looking good. This map is trash. Because if I can't get any oil, then like just all this weird stuff, sulfur carbonite. And well, maybe if there's sulfur, may, maybe that, that that is sulfur is something that you normally get from oil. So maybe perhaps one of the modded things will help. Like maybe perhaps I can check my research because there's so much here that I haven't even touched. Like there's silver processing, titan processing, gold processing, grinding, which uh, what even is this? Sorting machine, um, iron grinding, gold. See, there's so much. There is here. Um, there's also these chests. They're not really that useful, honestly. I'd, I don't need... And then also, fast burner insert. I don't, I don't need that. Um, I could get a fast inserter, though. That's only 30 science, and I probably w will want to do that. Um, I'm just going to check for other modded stuff um, here. There's also carbonizing, which allows you to transform wooden things into coal. That's actually pretty... Unique, or not unique, but it's pretty cool. That, um, and then what even is this? Resistance one makes the body, it's just character health. Okay. Now, what is this? Research, resource sorting. And it's, oh, cup rum ferret sorting. And it gives, oh, so I will probably want to eventually get that going. I don't know why there's two sorting machines, though. There's this, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe you can just unlock the same technology from multiple things. Maybe that's something. I mean, there, there also is some vanilla stuff like circuit network. I never use the circuit network ever. So, um, yeah, it's too complicated even for me. Maybe I'll try to start doing it this playthrough, but yeah. I The thing is that, uh, I mean, while the modded stuff probably will allow um, oil to come a little later... I'm still scared that there's going to be no oil. This is where... Actually, this is a Factorio Plus Plus thing. Advanced Pump Jack. It's probably just... Uh, hmm. So, it, it looks like I will be using these new ores. Um, I think I, I think these are just... Will give more oil or something. I That's what I'm going to assume. Um, they're just faster than regular Pump Jacks, which will be getting oil for me normally so i guess i could just go all the way down there's so much stuff especially with all the mod with factorio plus plus being the main one um really not sure what to do though um if i don't have oil like maybe there's something here that will allow me to get oil for whatever reason there's nuclear power here this using only red and green science which doesn't make any sense considering um i even on the save where I've launched a, a rocket, which is like the wind condition of a normal game, I still don't have nuclear power. So, yeah, that's... Um, I mean, I, I guess I'm just looking through this and just seeing if there's anything that, like, I could use as, as an alternative to oil or as a way to get oil without oil. Um, like, maybe... Maybe one of these ores, somehow you can liquidize it into oil. But I, I, this, I will definitely want to get some mining drills over here because this is in the way of my bus. And it's a lot of iron and cut room ferret. So it'll actually be very useful. Um, like cut room ferret, it seems like it's just half iron, half copper. If that's the case, that's um, pretty useful. Like, if I can get that going, that's, that's like 3.2 million iron and 700k copper. I also want to clear the spider base, because, also, I probably should be using turret creep then, versus what I'm doing. Also, I don't even have heavy armor on me. Like, what am I doing? It's been two episodes. So, yeah, just, just get this going. Um, honestly, just do the same thing as before. Um, uh, maybe I should get a gun turret. 
Um, this isn't. This may seem overwhelming, but honestly, it's not considering all the fish I have. Um, it's real the worms that are dangerous um, because the poison can just really get you. Um, luckily, just the fish are really powerful. So oh, there's a research. Um, so now uh, just. Maybe just quickly get something to uh, research, like optics. Um, that's going to take like five seconds. So, um, yeah. That. Okay, there, there's another research complete. Uh, just get something, get something. Uh, let's do just two. Uh, that, that's, that's expensive. Just get military two. I really want military two. Uh, it's also going to take like no time. Okay, so biter base cleared. Now I can just see what, um, how much cup run ferret there really is. It is 1.5 million, so that's, that's quite a bit. And now I can actually see what I want to research. So there is a, a lot of stuff here that I can do. But, oh yeah, fast inserters. That is something I really want to do. Um, that'll be extremely useful. Um, and... Yeah, it's just gonna be this hunt for oil that I can't find. There's, you see, there's for some reason there's some carfidium ore over there, and just there's all these tiny ore veins. That I don't know why they exist, but I'm really there's also this 5.5 million coal, plus 1.1 million here, and 2.6 million silver, but still no oil. So. I'm just getting I'm just getting more and more nervous as it goes on. I'm really hoping there will be oil because if there's no oil, then I'll have to end the series prematurely. I mean, I of course I can focus on modded stuff. There's also um, I know there's a lot of Factorio Plus Plus things, but there's also some things from other mods such as Big Brother, which adds which essentially this will expand the radar line of sight and scan range. This will be useful for just looking farther out, which I'm definitely going to need to do with this lack of oil. So yeah, I can also, I just want to quickly check my power. Um, right now it's okay. So yeah, there's not much else I can do here. I'm, again, I'm, I, I, I can't say this enough. I'm really worried about oil, considering there is no oil on the map. So yeah, this finish, this research is now finished. I should probably get something like, I'm, I'm not really sure, there's so much. Oh yeah, this electric energy distribution, really want that. And yeah, the lack of oil concerns me and hope you enjoyed. Peace out.